So if you're a fan of the channel and you've been watching us from the beginning, you'd know that this area here used to be my front door. We had to get rid of that because that was just a really stupid spot for it because in the winter time, our farmhouse here had the wind blowing across and every time we came home, we'd open the door and then the heat would have to turn on for half an hour to warm the house back up. So what we decided is we moved the front door to a different location away from the wind, that's great, but we still would like to have the daylight coming through to light up the front hall area. So huh, we've got a situation now because we were thinking, well, what a great way to show people a neat trick if we finished all the siding and everything outside first and then we put the window in because that'll give you the flexibility at home to put a window in any part of the house that you want. So this is the video today. We have vinyl siding outside. We have it all framed up and closed off. I'm gonna go through all the construction techniques and tips so that you can cut your hole, close it up properly, insulate it, seal it for water barrier, install a window. My God, we got a lot of work to get through. So let's get into it. First of all, I ordered my window so it would fit in between the framing here and I got it 39 inches tall. So. What we're going to do is, for simplicity here, I'm going to call that my outside corner on the top of the window, and I'm just going to mark down 39 inches. Now my window, I'm actually going to cut a hole that's 40 inches big because that'll be a lot easier to install the window nice and level in case it isn't level right now. All right, And I'm going to take my handy dandy drill with my extender bit and a drill bit, and I'm gonna punch a couple of holes in there to mark the outside for the interior of the window measurement. Now, that's not gonna make a lot of sense to some people, so I have a window, and the outside is this dimension, the inside is this dimension, because I have brick molding attached. So what I'm doing here is I'm penetrating the plywood at these points. This is the interior shorter measurement. Okay, that way this outside brick molding will go over top of my tie par and my house wrap that I'm gonna to use to seal it all up and I'm gonna have a great weatherproofing seal. So, the simplest way to do this is find a nice long drill bit and drill straight out in all four corners to mark our spots so that we can do all of the cutting from outside. Now that that's done, we can go inside and finish our hole. So remember, I made these holes based on the interior measurement of the finished window, not the brick mold. We're gonna actually end up cutting twice. So we've got a laser line here connecting our holes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my trusty grinder and I'm going to make the hole just a little bit bigger than it needs to be using the laser line as a guide and I'm going to just use my marker to mark out my holes here we go and then add another inch there we go once I get this all traced out I'll cut through the vinyl with the grinder and then we'll be able to cut through this the sheathing with our saw just as a note if you're putting a saw up against a vinyl siding make sure you put it on the detail that's right up against the house if you put it on the thick side, when you put the weight there, you run the risk of cracking it, especially when it's cold outside like now. So the idea is really quite simple. You saw us, if you watched our vinyl installation video, which we'll link in the card up there, how to install the siding. Now we're showing you how to take it away. <laughs> Basically using the same tool. It's a, a continuous rim ceramic tile cutter, and uh, it just cuts through this like butter. So don't worry. I got a bin right there, that's handy. All right. <laughs> I'll be able to use that up inside the windows. That's awesome. That's not going in the garbage. You know, just a little precaution and the right attitude. You can have recycling. <laughs> now, my perfect world my window brick molding 
is going to be sitting flush up against my exterior sheathing, not against that. Now, in a perfect world. So I got inch and a quarter brick mold. Um, if I cut the siding down far enough, boy, I've really got to have this hole perfect. <laughs> I'm going to start by cutting these straps here, okay, and then cutting my sheathing where that drill hole is. And then we're going to stick the window in, and then we're going to just fine tune all the details with what else we have to cut to make this perfect before I get too excited and keep cutting. Uh, like I always say, it's better to measure once but qu cut twice. <laughs> all right. All right, while I'm fussing around with this, Max, why don't you show them the windows that I finished? You guys can maybe put in the comment section if you like that style or if you had a, have a better way of doing it in mind, you can share it with all of us. All right, so we're just going to cut away the extra tie bar now, leaving these flaps, put them off the staples, and generally we're going to be able to wrap that around the framing into the inside the house. All right, I'm gonna keep that out of the way for now. Keep that out of the way for now. I don't know, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna try the painter's tape that I use for everything but painting. Joke's getting old, isn't it? Hey, because now I'm gonna get my skill saw out. Sorry, my circular saw. Skill is a brand, I use DeWalt. It's funny. I was a kid, my dad had skill saw. So ever since I was a kid, that's what we called it. It's kind of like Kleenex. Face on a tissue, but call it Kleenex. All right, there we go. All right, I'm still working with those original holes that I drilled. One's there, one's there. We're going to cut the plywood now. The OSB on the outside of the house. if it's gonna fall in or fall out. There we go. Ah, we wanna we wanna save this for later. We can use this to help frame across the bottom of the window. Well it's not gonna be pretty. Alright so I'm gonna go grab the window and my helper we'll be right back. <coughs> Maddie T I can't find my helper anywhere so I'm gonna get Max out from behind the camera. We'll leave things running and I'll let him edit it later. <laughs> But I need an extra hand putting this up. All right. So all I'm going to do, stick it in the hole. And I'm going to have you hold it there so that I can do all my measuring and marking. <laughs> oh, I was just getting some water last night. Huh. huh. Okay. Somebody doesn't know how to measure. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds like, that's, uh, yeah, I cut 39 instead of 49. Uh-huh. So, uh, <laughs> I was supposed to cut at 49, not 39. Yeah, nice, eh? I don't have a sweet clue what I'm doing. There we go. One whole pile down here. All right, it's all coming back to me now. You know, we did this. Must have closed this up four or five, maybe six months ago. I forgot that I'd already framed all of this for the right height. <laughs> I measured wrong the first time. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to do some insulating, but I have already got all this set up. All I have to do is cut ex the extra drywall out and then trim back the stud here so that I can lay my two by four across. And then we're good to go with the installation. All right. Okay. How 
Okay, so I'm gonna go inside with my laser level and my shims. Matt's gonna stick the window in the hole. I'm gonna prop it up a little bit off the frame so I can get a good air seal. And then once we get that perfectly level, I'm gonna come outside and trace my line from my brick molding that's on that window. And then I'm gonna cut the vinyl back again so we can install our J trim and have a finished look. Fingers crossed, this all works. All right. <laughs> Okay, to a bit to your, your left, there you go. Yeah, it's just that paper's in the way, isn't it? Okay, now, I'm gonna throw it on some shims, Matt, so, so if you want more detailed information on how to finish all the installation, we have a window install video you can check out, but the highlights of this are, you wanna put your cedar directly underneath the supports of the window here, okay? That way you can foam all the way around and you can also remove them later and then fill them with foam once the foam is set after a day or so. The rest of this detail is just going to be covered with some uh, build-out jam and then a nice big three and a half inch trim. We'll also have a video on how to trim out your window custom with the sill. So that'll be handy. We'll put that link in there as well. Let's go back outside now and finish the video of how to finish the details with the cutting through the vinyl, getting the J-trim installed, getting it all sealed up so that we are going to be weather tight. It seems like every time we want to film a video, there's a tractor or a street sweeper or something around. Anyway, here we go. Just take our black marker and we're going to trace our line now and trim this up to perfection. Oh, I got to get the one spot. Oh. Got it. All right. Okay, you can take the window out now oh. and put it back on that platform again. I'll get out of your way. So now we gotta figure out exactly what we're doing. So here we are. This has to finish there. Okay, so that's not my cut line. Because if I put this in and I don't account for the thickness of the J trim, I'm in trouble. Whew. Now, here we go. My J trim isn't all that thick. So when I cut this with my grinder, I'm gonna cut on the outside of my line. That'll give me the space I need for this. Here we go. So if you saw our vinyl video, you'd know my little secret here for making sure things fit nice and tight. Now, at some point in this assembly, you know darn well you gotta cheat just a little bit. So we're gonna use this exterior deck screw. I'm gonna get underneath this edge and drill an invisible screw. So here's where the trick comes in. The side has to go down even further. So we're going to take out the grinder and just trim up that one little spot. Make room for that detail. We're going to take our salvage strapping and we're going to put it in behind our house wrap so we can establish the depth that the window gets installed. Remember, our brick molding, I want it sitting flush on the surface, the same as the siding is, so I get the right depth when it's all said and done. All right, all right. So this is our blue skin. We are gonna use this here, just as a uh, more of a directional thing. I'm just gonna be sending any water that gets in behind the window back out again. Okay. Man. There we go. Get rid of that. You can see that in this particular scenario, I lucked out because I don't have a nail strip right here. Um, 
Part of that is because I planned ahead when I was closing the door up. Part of it is I just got lucky. If you had to, you could reach in behind with the claw of your hammer and pull your siding nails and remove them. And then really what you want to do is get your blue skin, peel the paper first to get started, and then just slide it into position. Okay, there we are. Ideally, behind the tie par, okay? Doo -doo -doo. There, we can fit it in behind the house wrap and we will be in much better position to get a significantly improved weather seal. Once we get this started, it'll be a lot easier, but for now, this is gonna be a real pain in the butt. Okay. Uh. There we go. I know it's not going to be perfect, but every ounce of prevention that you can add to this at this point is going to be really beneficial for you. Because when you're adding the window after the fact, you're building things in reverse order. And it can be a little tricky. But don't worry about it. Heck, 30 years ago, they didn't even know what blue skin was. There's a little, millions of houses in the, in the world that don't have any blue skin on them. And they're doing just fine. We're at that point where we're going to just seal up any of our overlaps or areas of concern with our tuck tape. Brilliant. Like I said, yeah, this is like putting lipstick on a pig, but I think she's going to be ready for the dance in just a few minutes. All right, so now we're going to put the J trim all for the sides. And we need to actually measure the actual distance of this here, 50 and a quarter. And then we're gonna go just a hair long, plus the depth of that detail right there, which is one inch. So our total height is 51 and a quarter for the total of the window flashing. My cutoff is actually pretty perfect as well. Spooky day. All right, things are going too well around here, Max. I'm usually accustomed to more problems. <laughs> All right. So the only downside of this scenario is trying to attach it to the house, right? Because truth is, I gotta get all this in behind. If your last nail strip was here, then you cut it out. That means there's another 16 inches away. This will be incredibly loose. I have a strap right here. I plan that in advance. But if you're putting this hole just anywhere, what I'm gonna suggest is this. <laughs> Might sound a little bit nutty, but what you can do is you can stick this in here, and before you do, like just after you put it, push that in, throw some exterior screws in your corners, okay, to tighten all that down in a couple of places, just to give it some rigidity. Remember, this is a water diversion system. Vinyl with a tiny hole in it with an exterior screw that you use on decking isn't going to have any major problems except in the heat you might get a bit of a buckle, but it's worth it to have a bit of a buckle around a window to get a couple of solid screws in there if you need it. All right, now let's see if the window fits. Remember, the last step for us is actually put the exterior like a mono or a quad adhesive um, sealant, okay? That has an elastomeric property on it, so we can seal the trim to the window, and then the window, when it's installed, will actually hold my vinyl trims in place. Let's throw that sucker in here. I'm feeling good about this, Matt. Ah, oh, all right. Okay, up and at it. Higher, 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 higher. There you go. 
right there. Ho, 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 ho. That doesn't get much sexier. Wow. <laughs> I'm loving it. Don't move. I'll be right back. <laughs> Can you lift that up just a touch? Right there. And then this side just a touch. Right there. Hold on a minute. Okay, Matt, I'm going to go for lunch, buddy. I'll be right back. <laughs> Pretty darn awesome. So when these double hungs, you'll notice that they have these finished plastic caps. If you pop them out, you can stick your screw in where it's hidden. So even if you lose your screws like we did, because this window was delivered, what, two weeks ago? We can just stick it in the track. All right. As soon as it starts pulling, you got to back it off. All right. You don't want to warp the window out of shape. You just want to have it snug. There we go. And then these ones are going to be outside the building. It's a crying shame. But we can put these right in at the bottom. Functioning. I just got to put these back in place or I'm going to have the window run off the tracks. Beautiful. All right. Only thing left for us is put in the window foam. Love it. A little bit too much daylight there. Be careful when you're using this stuff. It does like to expand a lot. This is just to create an air seal. Windows only have an R value of five, so it doesn't take a lot of foam to get that same rating. Secret here is to keep the wind, the air from blowing through. And it will continue to expand probably for another 20 minutes or so. It gets to about one and a half times its size. The benefit of the window foam is that it'll grow out before it'll push up. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go outside. I'm going to throw a couple more layers of siding on and a little bit more J-trim and I'm going to cock the windows to the siding, but that's pretty simple stuff. And if you want to see our siding videos, so you know how to install siding on your house, then click the button right here. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked and learned anything in this video. We'll see you in the next time.